again, I have made a very non-controversial post on Twitter uh, saying that I would pay money if I were to see beautiful women in video games. So I'm not saying that ugly women shouldn't exist. Uh, I'm not saying anything. It's just that I would personally pay money if beautiful female characters would exist in the video game. Uh, again, th this is fiction, right? Like we're not talking about reality or anything like that. Uh, so anyone that says, oh, well, you're objectifying, you're into this type of culture. Um, I cannot objectify an object. By definition, a woman in a video game is not a real woman. It, it, she does not exist in reality. It is fiction. Uh, wouldn't you rather have people objectify fiction than, I don't know, go to OnlyFans or Twitch streamers and objectify those? But, uh, you know, like this is the point, I suppose, because uh, I got... Uh, 4 million views insane amount uh, and I noticed uh, a trend like the people that do not uh, like beautiful women in uh, video games happen to be people who don't like women um, but uh, you know like I mean there's not a big issue if you don't like women you know like you're a furry and you're into that that's fine you know maybe you're a member of the intersectionality group uh, that's also fine, but what I don't understand is like, okay, you don't like this, uh, why are you attacking people that do? This is what I don't understand. Like, why can't you be tolerant? Like, I don't come to shame you or attack you for your preferences. Why do you feel the need to attack and shame me for mine? Uh, when, when I specifically said that I'm willing to pay more money, you, you have no idea of the amount of hate and vitriol that I got for having this take. Again, out of 4 billion people, it's uh, only enough if 0.1% of them would attack me. And you can also do the math and see how many people uh, disapproved uh, vehemently with what I said. But, as we mentioned before, overwhelming amount of people uh, that didn't like my take were uh, cam girls. You know, which I understand. I mean, uh, it is a conflict of interest going around there. You know, they want men to go on their streams and watch them in the bathtub, go to their OnlyFans and give money to that. They don't want men to have any other outlet. So so at least I respect the business, the entrepreneurial spirit. Um, so camp girls are the first one. Uh, the other group, uh, of course, were the people who do not like women, uh, which uh, are furries because they're interested in other things, right? Uh, uh, but uh, also, you know, members of the intersectionality group, okay, fine. But then there is an also interesting group, like another one. Uh, which uh, people don't really talk about it that much, but they exist, and uh, these are also very outspoken. Uh, for example, there is this video game called uh, Dead or Alive. And Dead or Alive is a very bad fighting game. It, it doesn't have great mechanics, uh, it doesn't have a lot of gameplay going for it, it's not very competitive in nature, but what it does have is ushikushi ladies. The ladies in uh, Dead or Alive are very ushikushi, and this is why people play this game. So it's uh, no surprise that back uh, during a uh, previous EVO on Twitch, uh, they hired some Asian actresses in order to advertise the game. Okay, completely consensual, right? Like just like a OnlyFans girl is working for the corporation of OnlyFans in order to do her content and gives a paycheck there. Uh, just like a Twitch streamer in a bathtub uh, does her content and gives Twitch money. Uh, so to these girls uh, agreed, you know, a consensual, uh, mutually beneficial contract for them to try to uh, titillate themselves on a stream while uh, getting audiences to be interested in the game. Apparently, uh, a member of the uh, EVO community had to stand up and says that the Dead or Alive ad that aired on our stream does not reflect the core values of EVO or the fighting game community. So, see, I am in the fighting game community and he speaks on my behalf. Apparently, he knows what my values are. He spoke with my mother. He served with my father in the military. He knows me as a person and says that this is not the values that we have. Uh, we ended the stream temporarily to protect the integrity of our brand. We sincerely apologize for the fans. Now, uh, people who are going to look up in the story can find out who the person is. The reason that I uh, do not show their names is because of YouTube Terms of Service. You know, uh, they, they have rules against harassment or bullying, but uh, good luck interpreting what those are. I am not harassing or bullying this person. It's a public figure, uh, but uh, you never know, right? I, I have seen worse uh, happening. So, again, it doesn't really matter the name. What, what matters is that, well, this is a person who doesn't like women. So what does he like? 
Well, we are aware of the accusations that have been made against this person. The behavior in these accusations run directly counter to EVO's mission of building a safe, welcoming environment for all of our players and attendees. We take responsibility seriously. Apparently, uh, this person has been placed on administrative leave, pending third-party investigations. Well, apparently, he was accused of being a kidney diddler. I mean, look, I, I understand, like, you know, like, people have different preferences. Like, I get that. You know, like, it doesn't attract you to see two ushikushi women. But, like, why do you have to take it away from others? Like, if it's not your preference, I get it. But, like, let me put it this way, right? If you have, let's say, a gay person, right, going around saying that he wants more representation in video games. He wants gay representation in Overwatch. Are you going to be a progressive man if you tell him that he can't have that? Are you going to be a progressive man if you shame him for that? No, no, like it is progressive to allow, to live and to let live into the society that we live, unless they want beautiful women. If you happen to want beautiful women in a video game, then you are a pariah. You are obsessed with pornography, I have been told. You are objectifying the object, which again, it's a female character in a video game. So this is the absolute interesting society we live in. If you want fat representation, that's also beautiful, promotional, yes, yes, absolutely encourage that. Of course, I mean, there are less fat people in video, horrible. Uh, if you want uh, traditional standards of beauty, you are not allowed. We are now into modern standards of beauty. We are into California, nya, 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 nya where uh, everything needs to be plus. Plus size, women plus, 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 plus. Okay, Naruhodo. Um, it is very disappointing. You know, like I don't go around on Twitter criticizing uh, people's sexualities, attacking uh, what people like. But like, I can't help to like what I like. You know, the penis, it has a mind of its own. And, and if you want to convince it otherwise, you can move your mouse closer to it because my penis has a hearing problem, right? So you need to move your mouth closer to it and then try to speak to it and explain to it that it's bigoted and that it should not enjoy sexy female characters in video games. But like, what can I do? What can I... You know what, it, what I find very concerning, though, is that overwhelmingly these people uh, believe that if you want a beautiful female character in a video game, it must be because you are obsessed with porn. So the simple image of a woman that is dressed provocatively is enough to, to stir the loins in these people to, to a certain degree where they cannot control themselves anymore. Like this is a form of digital Sharia. Like they do not want to be sinful. And if they were to see a video game character that it is skimpily clad, they, they would not be able to control themselves. They would be like a South Park with a spooky ghost in their room. Right, so uh, I, I hope that's not the case. See, I, I can watch the Statue of Venus without poking myself, but it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think, and as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.